Oh, hi there, I'm Tiny Pirate. Welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. And today we've got a really fun invention. A Katusha rocket system as made famous in World War II. I've got a little poll for you at the end of this video. Please stay and watch. I'm interested in your opinion on stuff. The Katusha rocket system is a multi-launch rocket system. You can see my rockets in the back there, slopping around on the, on the deck. Let us get ready to fire them. All right, where are we? Oh, put a frame rate lag there. Okay, system. Let us, first of all, lift up the rocket deck. All right, all rockets are in position. What shall we shoot? I think we'll shoot this platform here. All right, are we ready? Okay, let's get a good view. In sequential order, fire rockets. Whoa, look at them go. Oh no, I have to turn them off again. I'll turn them on again. Whee! <laughs> oh, look at them. I just wish they could explode. No, just fly around the world. Brilliant. Alright. Oh, don't come back at me. No, no, no. Ah, oh, phew. Never mind. And lower the deck. And hop out. So what did I just do? Well, I saw a video the other day that was put out by uh, Fusion X. I'll link it in the description. And he showed wireless controls. And I think the person who discovered the actual technique was Brent Batch. Uh, and he had a cool video out as well showing wireless control systems. Others have done similar things since. But I thought I would build this fun rocket launcher system. And what wireless controls basically mean is that you can plop down anything and then control it from uh, another system so you can do things like build a rocket launcher system and fire rockets at things it's just a shame they don't explode yet so if you're interested perhaps i'll show you how that might work uh, for say a small remote control car first of all you might need to put down one of those uh, we'll put down a control system here um, let's have a look we need a block that's connecting a uh, a wireless, well, connecting wirelessly. And, and the way you do that is kind of, I guess, just a hack. So I'm going to put this block here to remind us. And it you need to have basically two bearings between whatever it is you're going to control. So let us now make a small car. Yes, I know you silly car. You are twisty. That is fine. Um... Shall we make it steerable? Maybe we shall. Du, 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 du. Um, now we've just got to make everything work here. So let me have a little look, see. You, oh, hang on. Oh, goodness me. Why don't we uh, just connect uh, you to there and to there for now. That'll keep things from wobbling too much. So we've got a bearing at the back there, yes. And another one. Might want a small wheel. Make things pretty. Really did want to keep that bearing, silly game. That's fine. One wheel at the back. One wheel at the back there. Um, Maybe we'll make it a... Uh, some kind of fancy mono thingy me bobby cycle. Yeah. Put that there for steering. A uh, block down there. You know, I think that'll work. Ah, uh, actually, what am I doing? Come here. Oh, yep. There we go. <sighs> Two down. And get rid of that. It's going to be a bit rubbish, but in all, in all honesty, it doesn't matter too much. Um. So now what we do is we use the Right there to control that. Yep. Now we need an engine. I think an electric engine will probably do the job. So this is a really neat little bug. It's um I mean I'm I'm wondering if they're gonna patch it. I kinda hope they don't. Uh because if they patch it then well it, it's gonna take away a little bit of functionality. I mean the functionality right now is definitely a bit cheesy uh, and unlikely to you know it doesn't really make much sense. But if they actually brought in some kind of, and that needs to go onto that as well. If they actually brought in some kind of uh, wireless system, that'd be neat. 
Okay, and what you can kind of probably see in the background, make sure the wheel's going the right way, is that the control wire has actually reached all the way out to the rockets still from my Katusha, so that's kind of cool. Now, in theory, let's just make... See? Yeah, it's turning, and... Oh, turning the wrong way, that's okay, we'll fix that. Um, and now all I have to do in theory is cut this block here with the bearing each side of it sit in here and we wireless controls that's <laughs> really really slow now if you mess with either of these systems you're likely to break that wireless link like if you put something on a platform or what have you i wonder if changing speed is going to cause problems that's a really feeble little engine isn't it yeehaw yeah, so I thought Asia would be really awesome to have like a 5x5 five five block limit to create little RC rovers and race them with friends around a track. No, come on you. Wee uh, woohoo. Yeah, that's right, you just go spinning off into infinity there. Okay, so I thought it was well after I've shown you that neat little trick. We should rebuild our rocket system. So let me just get the uh, this rocket deleted. And I'll park this truck again and then we'll, we'll get into it. So you can see how to build your own rockets that are kind of remote controlled. All right, truck, let me back on board. All right, so the truck is parked and we have our truck bed here. It's connected up using, usually, usually, what am I, what am I saying? What's wrong with you, tiny pirate? Using normal sort of connecting-y type things, um, bearings and control box and all that. You don't need to know about that. By now, you should be an experienced scrap mechanic player or watcher thereof. So I've set up my box uh, here with a bearing underneath it, connected to a bearing. I think you could probably put that bearing anywhere else on the thing you're going to build because the bearing does get deleted. But uh, for now, that seems to be a perfectly cromulent way of doing it. Word for the day. Now, let us slap on our rocket bodies. Took quite a while to figure this out because the rocket bodies were way heavy uh, and a single jet engine, rocket engine thing usually won't push them along really well. And you have to be careful to make sure, obviously, that your rocket parts are attached only to each other and then to the block, otherwise they'll be stuck to the, to the truck bed. And you want them to be able to come loose. Now if I put that, yep, everything's floating free. Good, I can see that when it moved. Ah, get back up there on my build platform. I wish Creative had a flying mode. Uh, it would make things a lot easier than failing jumps. That's why I don't play Mario games, people. All right, here we go. Oh my, that's just embarrassing. We'll come around here and do it then. Fine, be that way, game. Uh, so yeah, I, I really applaud uh, Brett Batch for discovering this technique. It's really fun. Uh, there's all kinds of things we can do now. I think my buddy Blitz Kriegler has built a tank which fires a sort of a jet engine shell. Actually, did that connect properly? Kind of worried it didn't. Yeah, I'm not sure it did. There we go. Uh, I've seen other people doing similar things. I think the RC car idea, building an RC car race, race yard has been done as well. Um, and now, jet engine... Rocket engine, whatever it is you are. Three, stick it at the back and get out of the way of that one. And uh, uh, come on. Oh, goodness me. Now you got to wire it up. You got to wire it up before you break it. So here are four buttons. And we'll go this way around this time. And uh, there we go. And one more. All right, that's looking pretty good-ish. And now, where are we? Let's make, a, make sure I do it directly. One, two, the rockets should each be free-floating. But before we do anything else, we should put George somewhere. George, where are you? You want to sit on rocket number two? Face forward, George. It's going to be the flight of a lifetime for you. I did try putting traffic cones on the front of the rockets. They make quite a nice pointy pointy bit. But unfortunately, um, the traffic cones... Is that rocket not actually free-flowing? 
I suspect number two might not fly. George, you little tricky guy, you. You set up a rocket to not move, haven't you? All right, that's okay. Let's bombard that cornfield over there. Get up there, truck. Two big engines and it still has trouble getting this thing moving. All righty then. Stop. Up goes the rockety thing. Oh no, George is moving. Maybe George is just throwing a bit of weight on it. Here we go. Fire sequence initiated in three, two, one. <laughs> okay, George is stuck. All the others fly away. Wee. Oh, George, you don't want to go, do you? Oh, now you want to go, do you? Come on. Come on, George. Out you go. No, no. Whoa. Look at that. And you know what the problem is? George has been eating a lot of lunch. He's very heavy. I take him off. And, and maybe give it a bash. Pretty sure it'll fly free. Yep, doing it all by itself. Yeah, that was the problem with the traffic cone. Put a traffic cone on the front and the whole thing just fell apart. What? They're still flying. <laughs> They're still flying around. That's awesome. Any more? No. I think they've given up. Brilliant. Anyway, I've been Tiny Pirate. That's been Wireless Controls and Scrap Mechanic. If you would like to see more Scrap Mechanic, please vote in my poll. You will see it on the screen. Until next time, good night.